Hey there guys, it's Jake with Arclight TV, and today I'm going to show you how to put Magic Lantern onto the Canon 7D. This is brand new, um, they previously haven't had it out, it's usually just been for the T2i, T3i, um, and the 5D Mark II. But they recently just came out with a 7D version. It's just in the alpha right now, but it's still extremely useful for the indie filmmaker, such as myself. So we're going to get started. Um, there's going to be two parts, the where to find it and how to actually install it, because it's a little bit different with the 7D. How to find it, you can just simply Google Magic Lantern. It'll come right up. Um, don't choose the wiki, choose the magiclantern.fm. Now, as of right here, you see it just, it's right on the front page for the news, first 7D alpha released. So it shows you all of the, um, all of the features it can do right here. Obviously, I've seen it on the T2i, and there's a lot more um, features, but these still are extremely useful, such as the crop marks, the, um, where is it, focus peaking, I always use uh, zebras. I never use the audio meters because I always have um, separate audio recording gear, um, but other things like that. Now, if you look under the known issues, these are the only things we have to worry about. Uh, not so much the first one, but formatting the card will remove Magic Lantern files. Previously, that doesn't happen on the T2i. You can format your card as much as you want, um, but here it will actually remove your files and you won't be able to load it. The second thing is, I find this kind of annoying, but it's worth it. You have to reload Magic Lantern every single time that you want to use it. So every time you turn on your camera, you have to actually go in under the firmware, which I'll show you guys a little bit later, and reload it. It's not hard, it only takes a few seconds, but it's a little bit annoying. Something you might want to do is go into your camera, which I'll show you guys later, and turn off your automatic shutoff. I usually have mine on like one to five minutes, so if I just leave the camera for one to five minutes, it'll just automatically turn off. But I find that it gets really annoying when it's constantly turning off and I have to constantly reload Magic Lantern. So I just learned to turn that off. Um, now actually getting this file, you have to download it. So first you have to have the firmware uh, 2.0.3, which you can, uh, download. I'll have a separate tutorial if you guys need it for that. By actually clicking the Magic Lantern download, it'll just download straight to your computer. You don't, it doesn't take you to another window. It opens up a zip. I already have the zip up and unloaded. It's right here. Uh, you will unpack the zip and it'll come out with this file right here. Magic Lantern 7D. This is all you're going to need. I'm going to bring up my card reader. Right here, you see I, I already have it up right here. I'm going to delete this, all of it. Um, here's CineStyle and here's Magic Lantern. Now I will delete you. So now my card that's going to go on my camera is completely um, erased. There's nothing on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. Actually, you can just drag the whole thing, but I'm going to actually open it up and drag these separately. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening up my CF card on my computer and I'm dragging the contents of the Magic Lantern file into the CF card itself. And there is a firmware update for Magic Lantern and the uh, file with all of the assets needed. So once you have this, you can eject it. Always eject on a Mac. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, run it on the 7D. Okay, so once we have Magic Lantern on the card, I have it right here, through the CF card reader, we're going to put the card inside of the camera. Okay. And we'll turn the camera on. Your camera will boot up normally, nothing different. Now in order to boot up Magic Lantern, we're going to go into the menu, this is the Canon 7D, and we're going to go to the firmware. Click on the firmware and hit the update button.
firmware update screen will come up, it'll load, and it's booted right into Magic Lantern. Now inside Magic Lantern, how you access the Magic Lantern um, menu is you hit the delete button. And here's the menu where you can adjust everything that you want, such as zebras uh, or not. To get out of it, just press the uh, delete or trash can button again and you're out. Okay, now to actually change the setting in the camera, in case some of you guys don't know, uh, to allow the camera to stay powered on for more than just a few minutes, I think the normal is five, you're going to go into the menu and you're going to go to the first yellow um, menu and here under auto power off you're able to change the setting. I'm just going to set it to off. This will, this will allow Magic Lantern to stay on without having to reboot it every time. And yeah, that's it. Um, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Thanks.